Welcome back to a new video. I am currently on West Wittering Beach with this angel. <laughs> we're back. reunited. We have just driven here and we're just setting up on the sand dunes and on the beach and it is the most beautiful day. We are so lucky that it's like this. It is Very gorgeous. Nice. So we are just currently setting up, chilling, got a big blanket, hanging out, gonna start taking some snaps. We've got quite a few little outfits and bits like that to get done before we can chill and eat and hang out but we've been catching up on the way here which is really nice and verbal diarrhea yeah verbal diarrhea the whole way here because we haven't seen each other in so long but i can't believe how lucky we are with the weather because i was nervous it wasn't going to be this lovely so i'm going to take you guys along today and show you what we get up to show you behind the scenes bits and that kind of thing So I just did outfit number two. I did this little revolve dress, which I will leave a picture on the screen here for you guys to see. And we're just gonna do a gorgeous little long dress for Amelia now. And she, I think it's from H&M. I love it. It's a really nice dress, this is it here. H&M. I think a button just unpopped. Oh my God, it actually did. That is, a button just unpopped on the dress. <laughs> Oopsie. But yeah, gonna shoot Amelia on the sun and then we've got, I don't even know how many we have. We're just going with the we're flow. We're trying to get rid of them all. So just going with, <laughs> yeah, going with the flow and then ending with bikinis and then lunch. Oh yeah. Whoop. <laughs> did this are you in it yeah you're in this little pink river island dress and i did this little lemon asos like dress yeah we're like the perfect we always keep matching with our outfit colors oh no <laughs> going under the rope where we're not meant to be in the sand dunes but we are anyway <laughs> um we're having a little snack break because we've decided that we're starving <laughs> my tummy keeps going <laughs> so we're doing that but we're on outfit number three which is result I think I've only got like two outfits clothes wise left and then a bikini I've got two bikini outfits nice and then I'm done perfect perfect just chill chilling out. out so we had our snack and I'm now in my little bikini this is from Les Girls is it Les Girls? Les Girls Les Boys Les <laughs> what am I on about? So Amelia's done it in her little bikini and shorts did her shorts I'll leave her picture here it was banging and then yeah this is my little little bikini loving it so i'm gonna go do these shots now i don't know how they're gonna turn out but i'll leave a picture on the screen here however they've turned out <laughs> if you this don't is see it, it. it was shit. yeah if you don't see it i don't like them <laughs> just set up our little picnic this is we've got straws, nice drinks some grapes grapes of flowers and then amelia's amazing blanket where is this from uh it's I love it. So, it's very cute. Can't get it. <laughs> can't get it. So we're going to shoot here, which is exciting. Do some pickies. You ready? Woo -woo. So lovelies, we just finished shooting almost everything. I think me and Amelia have like one or two bits and bobs, and we're just sitting down to eat lunch. Lunch. And we've got strawberries, grapes, hummus and pita, chicken salad. What else? I think that's it. And then like some little snacky bits and Snacks. some snacks. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Yeah, it's lovely. The sea has come in so much that I'm yes. thinking, how far can it come? No, because we fun. are in this perfect little sand dune spot. It, it was quite wet down there, so I think that's... Yeah, cool. we've got lucky with where we are, I think. Yeah. We're in a really good position. We come here every week. Yeah. <laughs> also, another thing that Amelia actually mentioned in her video is that when you park in the car park here, you have to pre-book to come. Like, I highly recommend pre-booking. On Just Park. On Just Park, the app. And then we drove it, and then when you go, when 
when you come to the car park, go left. Like walk down this little path, come left away from the toilets because it's a lot quieter up this end of the beach. I think because they set up the lifeguarding area yeah. way more down so there's a lot more kids and families down that end and yeah I don't know if you guys can hear me because of the wind but we're gonna eat and basically come to this area. I'll try and show you on the way back. Yeah. I've got a pitter on my leg, chicken salad, nabo. <laughs> it's the same weird. Yum, I think we did a pretty good job with that. The seagulls are flying over and I'm freaking out. <laughs> oh, <I don't> <laughs> yeah, good idea. <laughs> I think I'm in outfit number six. I thought I'd show you this lovely little dress. It's pretty. ASOS. Yeah, they ASOS. Yeah. Wow. I know. Go on, ASOS. Wow. So we're going to go shoot this one, I think, up a little bit here and just leave our stuff for a sec. It's just really nice being on the beach. It's lovely. Lunch was lovely. It's a bit more windy now, so, you know, just going to do this last one and then we're going to chill. Oh, yeah. Which is nice. The sea has still come so far in and it hasn't stopped, but it's just really lovely being at the beach for once. And I was saying to Amelia, even though it's really busy, being in a different scenery than like your hometown beach or at like parks and things like that it just feels fine that it's this busy i don't know why like usually i'd be like oh it's so busy on brighton beach but this is just really nice and i'm really enjoying it And we are about to head back, it's about three o'clock, three o'clock. And we had a little paddle, which was nice. And yeah, we're just gonna head back so we don't hit any traffic and we can get back in time because it takes about an hour and like half, well, 30 minutes to get back towards like mine, which is yeah. lovely of Amelia to drop me home. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'll that's- drop her out or like <laughs> throw her out the door. <laughs> throw me out. <laughs> so that is the plan. Hey angels, so I just got home. It's about five o'clock. We got caught in some crazy traffic. It was like an incident on the A27. So fingers crossed that person's okay. But just got back and gonna unpack everything. I feel so sandy, like my face is like just sand. Like when I go like that, it's like salt and sand. So I'm gonna go hop in the shower, get all clean, unpack. And then I think, I don't know. I think I might do a workout because really need to move my body. I get really, really tight hamstrings unless I move. So gonna do some fun movement exercises probably and then do some editing, which I'm so excited about. So I'm gonna have a look at all the pics and that kind of thing. I also want to leave on the screen here just a few of the outfits that I wore and then I'll leave all swipe ups down below so you guys can kind of see what they look like on. And I mean, I'm sure you'll see that in the photos anyway, but yeah, just some really gorgeous dresses and like nice summery pieces that I'm loving that I thought I'd share with you guys in this video. So that is the plan for this evening. So probably not too much fun stuff, but I'll show you guys what I can. Good morning guys, happy Thursday in the vlog. I don't think I filmed anything last night. I literally got all my jobs done. I started clearing out my makeup cupboards because I'm doing, like, I'm doing my room renovations at the moment. So I'm moving room, I'm sorting, I'm doing massive clear out. I don't know if I've mentioned that or not, but I cleared my makeup cupboard out and that took about two hours. So <laughs> finally got that done and gave lots of little bits of charity and bits to my friends and that kind of thing. And then yeah, just had a really nice evening editing. I watched the holiday, cried my eyes out. Out, one of those things and now it's Thursday I woke up this morning did a Courtney Black hour workout really struggled this morning I am so tired I don't know why I just my body is very exhausted so <laughs> that was a struggle but I did that and then just got ready and then I've come out because today I am going for a brunch of one of my great friends at Bill's which should be really lovely we're sitting outside like the front of Bill's in Brighton and having like a nice little early lunch brunch hoping that it's not too busy obviously if it is then I won't be going because I'll probably make that decision when I get there but they've really kindly invited me and a friend so gonna go and have lunch there which should be lovely and then I just popped into my boyfriend's work and got myself an acai because he works at a smoothie bar and I haven't had an acai smoothie in five, six months or something crazy. So got one of these, I'm very excited. And then I also got from Real Batisserie these little pistachio and raspberry bites and they are just 
a dream. So I got that for me and my friend Amelia because she's obsessed with them. She used to work at Robert Eastbury and treat me with them all the time. So I was like, I'm gonna get that as well. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just heading, well, I've just popped out to get a smoothie. I'm gonna head back in, do some emails for an hour before heading to Bill's. So I'll show you guys when I get there. Also, before I show you my outfit today quickly, actually, this is a top from Monkey, the little padded tank top tee, which I'm obsessed with. I've got my Daisy Jewelry necklaces on, my Anya High ring, and then my two other Daisy Jewelry necklaces. Excuse the tan, I had a bit of a sitch go on. And then I've got my Monkey cream jeans, ASOS belt, Azora bag, and then my June London sandals, which are sold out everywhere, but I found dupes, so I'm gonna leave them down below. And here's a picture of the outfit so you can see it a little bit clearer. But I just wanted to show you guys just before I start the day. I just got back in it's about four o'clock now I think maybe three o'clock might be a bit earlier and me and my good friend Amelia just had a little wander in town I got some little homeware bits so first off I got these beautiful dried flowers which I think I just showed like a little clip of me going into I don't know how to pronounce it but it's like from like p-h-o HM, so I'll leave all links down below, but it's just a really gorgeous little pop-up store in Brighton and she also does commission pieces so you can design your own pieces and I thought a little cream bunch would be lovely because I've got a pink bunch on the way on from an online store and I'm doing like a pink and cream theme in my new room. Can't speak for some reason. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I think I need to sit down. But yeah, really loving that. And then I got two different vases. I got one from TK Maxx for £5, which is really gorgeous, which I will show you. And then also one from Habitat, which was about £8 in the sale. I also filmed a bed, which I'm gonna leave a clip in of here. <laughs> with and I really want it <laughs> it's in the sale down from like a grand to 500 pounds and it's beautiful but it's a blush pink and I feel like that's something that at the moment is something that I love and one and I don't think spending that much money on a bed that might not be something that my boyfriend likes in the future and it will be like our bed or it could be a guest bedroom bed but I don't know if I'm gonna have a two-bed house when I first move so that's one of those things to decide on and see whether, yeah, I've got a cream one in mind, so maybe I'll go for that. But anyway, so I've got those bits and I've just come back. I'm going to unpack a few bits, do some email catch-ups quickly before it hits like 5 p.m. and just do some continuing of some edits. I also need to sort my house out because I've got Kirsty coming tomorrow, so I need to like wash all my bed sheets so that she can stay in my room and I'm gonna stay in my dad's room because he goes away tomorrow again back to Cornwall for work so I've got the house again which makes it safe for Kirsty to come because it's just gonna be me isolating by myself so yeah I've got Kirsty coming which should be really nice um, and yeah she's just gonna stay in the other room so I'm gonna clean everything and get everything sorted for her to be in there for tomorrow so that's what I'm gonna be doing lots of cleaning and sorting Good morning guys, happy Friday. I really don't know where I left yesterday, I'm not going to lie to you, but today is Friday and Kirsty is coming over to stay and I'm so excited. So I'm currently just, well it's about 11.30 and this morning I went to the post office and sent off 30 parcels. The post office lady was not happy with me, that is for sure. And today is the 24th, so today Mars became mandatory, is it mandatory? Is that how you say it? Yes. Um, and so we, I was wearing that in the post office, which obviously it's good to wear it, but I was so hot, it's so humid today, so I just feel for people that have to wear masks for hours on end because it ain't comfortable, but it's important. But anyway, so I did that and then I've come back and I'm currently just editing lots of little videos that I filmed in Cornwall that I hadn't got round to doing. So I'm trying to get as many of them done as I can so that I can have a nice little weekend of Kirsty. So we're gonna do a bit of shooting. We're gonna go to, I think it's Rotting Dean Beach where the White Cliffs are just outside of Brighton. It's about half an hour, maybe 20 minute drive. And then we're gonna sit and get a takeaway pizza and just chill and catch up because I haven't seen her in about five, six months, which is crazy because 
I just love that girl. So very excited about that. So not much fun stuff happening that I can show you this morning, but I will show you when she arrives. And I'm just so excited to see her. So yeah, I'll speak to you guys in a minute. So guys, a little update on my day. I am currently waiting for Kirsty. I think she's on her way, so she should be here soon, which is exciting. But we just moved and I just started filming my home room renovation video. So I'm kind of like filming two videos at once, which feels really weird. But we just moved out the sofa from what is gonna be my bedroom in a few weeks, which is very exciting. And then I just put my little plant, my little dried plant in its vase in the window. So it's very exciting. Kirsty's here! <laughs> She's arrived. We're just, well, we're just catching up and faffing around. And we're gonna go for a drink because there's a new Six restaurant opened near, if you're in Brighton, and it's near. All of a bonus. <laughs> That's the best way to describe it. So we're just getting ready to head there. I'm wearing this little nasty girl top, which I thought was really cute, little ruffle sleeves. And then my Sturette Scort, my Converse. Can you see? Converse. I'm sure there'll be a picture that I can so leave so here. Do you want me to do? Oh yeah, let's see what do a little. Let's do it properly, like the. Oh. Lovely. I love this little combo. Very cute. And then we've got the shoes. Fabby, Fabby. Cool. <laughs> so that's the look, and we're gonna go head out for a drink. So I will show you guys what I can. Also, sorry in advance for the defocusing, focusing. I think my camera is on the way out. So yeah. <laughs> Now, look at what. Yeah. <laughs> so, we came to the new Six Brighton and we got a cocktail called Breakfast at Tiffany's, which is like blueberry, lime, and dark rum, which is very strong. I haven't drank properly in like six months, so yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, basically. But we've got pizza tonight, so it's fine that I can soak it all in. Suck it up, but yeah, we're just taking some snaps. Charles, Charles Tomart. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll leave some snaps on the screen here that we took, but yeah, gonna enjoy catching up now and getting the down low on Kirsty's life, which I'm excited about. <laughs> <laughs> gonna spill the tea. Oh, it's very strong. Oh. There's this blue sky. There is blue sky. There's blue sky. There is not a drill. That was all grey and it was horrible. And it's blue freaking sky. <laughs> Kirsty's looking at my photos for me. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so update. I'm nearly finished. I'm a little bit drunk. How does that happen after one drink? Is that what happens when you have a drink for six months? I'm a cheap date, basically. 10 pounds to get me drunk. So we're ordering from Fato Amano tonight. They've really kindly gifted us in return for some imagery on my feed, which is really exciting because I'm obsessed with them. They do the best gluten-free pizzas in the world. So I'm very, very excited about that. Kirsty's just choosing her pizza. And then we're gonna go down to Salt Dean, like Rotting Dean end and go and sit on that beach. That beach is basically like a massive chalk hill. Chalk hill? Chalk, chalk hill? Chalk mountain? Chalk cliff. Chalk cliff and <laughs> stone. So we've got a few outfits to do there and also have a really nice pizza on the beach. And the sun has come out because it did look like it was gonna rain. So thank goodness for that. So that is the plan. We're just ordering on my phone and then gonna go and collect and head down there. Christy's got the pizza. Seagulls. So you guys might not be able to hear me because it's quite windy, but we've come down to Rotting Dean, like Salt Dean Beach, and we just took some snaps. I'll leave them on the screen here. And it's actually so nice. The sun is gorgeous this evening. And we've got our pizza, and I bought my mayonnaise. <laughs> so that is literally, if you know me, this is all I need in life with every meal, and I'm sorted. So yeah, we're just gonna eat this now. The seagulls are actually scaring me a little bit, but fingers crossed they don't die, Bomber. So we took some photos. I'm gonna leave it here. Here's one of Kirsty, and here's one of me. <laughs> Little pictures we took. We just took some pictures and we're just heading back now because it's freaking freezing. It's so cold. I also somehow got flat hair <laughs> during that windy 
shoot. Kirsty's oh, also. I'll turn the engine on. <laughs> Kirsty's also lost her bracelet, so fingers crossed it's at my house because it's a little bit, oh, it's a really nice bracelet. You're good. Um, it's a really nice bracelet, so fingers crossed we can find that at my house. But we're gonna head back and eat pizza and watch a movie and get warm and get into bed. Yay! Yay! <laughs> guys so i didn't finish filming yesterday i think we just came home and we watched body fixers on netflix because why not while we just editing till about midnight and we've woken up and we knew it said rain but we didn't know it was going to be this kind of rain it is horrible like i mean it doesn't even look that bad just in my camera but it's basically that rain that gets you really really wet. So me and Kirsty just went and got coffee and we're debating whether to do some videos today and actually go into town and do each other's like summer shop on a rainy day and I don't know because there's no point us going to the countryside to shoot dresses when it's like this. I mean first world problems really in it. <laughs> really is um so i think that maybe is the plan but we're just gonna sit and discuss what we want to do but maybe go browse town and maybe buy ourselves some rain max and some umbrellas because although we live in the uk we don't own these things i don't even have a hood on one of my coats honestly we're stupid it's silly i don't, I don't know who i think i am i think we borrowed we coats for australia. australia yeah <laughs> I borrowed raincoats from Australia as well, so did you. Oh goodness, anyway, so that's the plan, that's the update, I'll let you know what it's like. I haven't been shopping in over six months, in ta like on not online shopping, I have been online shopping, we all, we all know that. But yeah, so gonna update you guys with what goes on. But today I'm just in this little Topshop tee, I'm in these jeans which H&M, I didn't know where they were from then, they're from H&M and then I've just got my Converse on again. I'm just really loving being quite comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> so, it's like this as well. Like, yeah. You, be. you just want to be comfortable. And also, if you're from Brighton or you ever come to Brighton, I mean, I'm no coffee expert, so Kirsty will have to be the coffee expert for this. But I am loving from Bread and Milk the iced oat latte with a bit of caramel syrup because I have a big sweet tooth. What's it's yours good. like? Yeah, it's good coffee. It's got a flat white oat milk, but it's good coffee for sure good coffee cool okay so it's good coffee so go there <laughs> recommend <laughs> so kirsty's in a yellow where's this jumper from it's from asos asos trousers asos oh, <laughs> oh god it's all ASOS. and yeah all asos got my new bomber from topshop in sale and it is great like i love it and then i'm kind of dressed in my boy outfit I love that you're just not wearing something super girly and you're like, I look like a boy. Well, it's because it's not me, is it? Like, I usually wear pink dresses. <laughs> Literally. This I is very... Like... Get you a girl that can do both. <laughs> yeah, Topshop, Topshop, H&M, ASOS belt, Azoro... Az Az Azarina, hun. Azarina, sorry. Converse, like to know it tote. Like to know it, repping. From, from Boots. <laughs> <laughs> We decided to go into town and we're going to film some YouTube videos and do a holiday shop with us. So we're gonna shop for each other's outfits. And we're also gonna do some homeware shopping because Kirsty might be getting a flat soon, fingers crossed. And I'm moving rooms, which you guys already know. <laughs> so I've spoken about 50 times. <laughs> big move into my living room, <laughs> literally. Anyway, I'll show you guys when we get into town. So guys, we're back home. I was gonna film, but it's really challenging to film with a mask on. And then also with it being rainy, it's just not, it's not great. But we're back. We both spend probably around a hundred pounds on each other. Maybe a little bit over. Kirsty also did a little bit of shopping for herself. But Topshop and Zara, well Zara actually had some really nice sale bits and Topshop did, did as well. I got these shades from Topshop for seven pounds. I thought they were quite cool. Sorry, just no, it's all right. <laughs> I thought these were quite cool, so I went for those. And then we're about to film a video for our, both our channels where we did each other's shops for holidays. So we did like day wear for holiday shopping or like summer. So I went quite casual for what I got for KP. Like I got her like quite casual bits and I think she did the same for me and we've kind of gone very similar in that. Excuse my washing machine, I am doing a fast spin. <laughs> 
so excuse that but yeah we're gonna film that so i'm gonna leave the link down to that video down below because i think that'll be out before this video is if you fancy seeing what we got each other so guys we have just come back out to take some pictures of the rain because why not and i'm wearing my new top that kirsty got me from our video and my top shop bomber bizarre boots which feels so weird being in boots it's actually tucking it down boots that like this again because i haven't been in ages and then my top shirt sunglasses i just showed you and my little asos bag and it's absolutely chucking it down so we're gonna run into my house oh. <laughs> so lovelies i am just editing this video and i realized i haven't ended it so i thought i'd jump on here and quickly end the video i hope you guys enjoyed watching i had such a lovely week and like end to the week because i guess i started on a wednesday i think it was but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed watching and coming along with me i'm also going to be vlogging my next week so the first week of august because i'm going to get my hair done in london i'm also getting my nails done and i might potentially be getting my eyebrows and eyelashes done depending on the government guidelines and what's going on with that but I thought I'd take you along next week to kind of go through those things with me for the first time because I get a lot of questions about if I'm going back into London and what it's like when I do on the trains and like traveling and I'm feeling a little bit anxious I'm not going to lie about getting the train into London and having a mask on all day and then sitting and getting my hair done with my mask on all day because I I can't complain about it, but I do really struggle. I get very claustrophobic, I think that's how you say it. And I feel very anxious anyway when I travel. That's where my anxiety is at its worst. So I'm hoping it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be worth it. My hair really needs like zhuzhing up and sorting out. So that'll be fun, but I'll take you guys along next week and show you guys what it's like traveling back into London and that kind of thing. And if I feel safe and whatnot. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day whenever you're watching this and I'll see you in next week's video. Lots of love guys, Mwah. bye.